In this tutorial, we'll learn how to do a report. The first step is to choose reports on the left side of the screen. From here, we have a list of all the popular reports in alphabetical order for English. So the first report we'll run will just be a regular detailed sales report. So you click Sales, and on the right side of the screen, you get Graphical Options, Summary Option, Detail Option. We're going to run the detailed report. Um, for every report, there's pretty much always a date range. You can choose the quick options of uh, last seven days, last 30 days, etc or you can do a custom range. A custom range will have start and end dates appear. In this case, I'm just going to run the report for today. You also have optional to ex export to Excel so you can open it up in a spreadsheet. And um, Some reports have filters such as I only want to see sales or returns. After you've made all those options, you simply hit submit and your report will be displayed. You can also edit your parameters easily without leaving the page by clicking the little arrow. Um, that's it. So if you wanted to export this to Excel, for example, you could click here, and now report's downloaded. Um, another thing to note about reports is there's a section for favorites. So right now we don't have any favorited reports, but let's say we wanted to always be able to look at our item summary report for today so easily. So you hit submit. There's this add to favorites option. So you would click that on the report and you'd say today's item summary report. That now is in your favorites, so if you go back to reports, you have it here. You can also delete it if you didn't want it anymore. And the great part is it's also on your dashboard as a favorited report. So now you can click it and you get the report just like you set up. So that's pretty much it with reports. The um, one thing to note about reports is there's tons of them, so it's it's um, really important to become familiar with which the ones you want. Um, like popular ones are the closeout report, the item summary report, the profit and loss report, etc. Um, so that's a quick tutorial on reports. That's it.